Good morning, everyone. I am focusing on driving, but just recording a quick video along the way. And I will make a point of not looking at the screen and keeping my eyes on the road instead. I just woke up about an hour ago in Yamanochi, the town below the Shiga Kogan Ski Resorts. The weather is looking crappy and getting worse. And I don't mean lots of snow, I mean rain is in the forecast. Warm rain is in the forecast. So I'm not excited about skiing in the rain on my trip to Japan. So my plan has revised a little bit. I'm going to hit the road soon, but today is the last day of sub-zero temperatures and it might get a little snow this afternoon. And so, what I'm planning to do today is to visit the Shiga Kogan 18. The Shiga ski areas are up above Yamanochi here. It's about a 30 minute drive up to the first ski area at the the lowest elevation ski area first along the road. And my plan is to see if I can ski all 18 ski areas in a day. Now, if you're used to ski areas the size of the Western US or say uh, Canada or Europe, then 18 ski areas sounds insane, but some of these ski areas are literally one little lift. There's a couple challenges. I have a first goal which is to ski the Chiga 15. There's 15 that are connected by trails and lifts so you can ski them all without having to get on a bus. And then I've got a stretch goal of skiing the other three if I get through all 15 to begin with. There's a shuttle that connects them all but that's going to be a little bit tough. So challenge number one, ski the Shiga 15, the 15 that are all connected together. Challenge number two stretch goal is ski the Shiga 18 in one day. And challenge number three is because I want to be able to do all of the ski areas in one day, I'm not going to go in for lunch. So instead I'll be eating and drinking a variety of convenience store snacks bought at 7-Eleven. And my, I have some pretty standards. I've got like a Snickers bar. I've got a pretty standard little bottle of rehydration uh, drink that's sort of the Japanese equivalent of Gatorade. But I've also got some stretch goals with snacks. I've got some unusual snacks and unusual energy drinks that I'm going to try out on the lift uh, with y'all. So hopefully that is an interesting challenge to y'all. I am going to run into 7-Eleven, buy a little bit of breakfast, and then head up to the mountain. I'm going to show you the road on the way up the mountain too because it's, it's really amazingly engineered. Okay, there is no skiing going on today at Shiga Kogan. I just saw a whole uh, van full of like ski lift employees all wearing their matching jackets, all <laughs> popping to drive a van and drive away. And the roads are awful. I have never seen roads this icy before. I mean, I guess I spent four years living in Alaska, so I saw some pretty icy roads, but this is like the perfect combination of really icy roads with no sand, no salt, no gravel. <laughs> I think what happens up here is these guys are so used to dry snow that it just blows off and evaporates with you know a little bit of wind and sun and it's all gone because it's so cold so much in so much of the year. So having temperatures around freezing like they have been for the past few weeks here, I think they're not I think they're not ready for it. I don't think they're they're used to it. So anyway, I, I don't know if you can see very well out of here. Let me see. I'll roll the window down for you. It's just a sheet of ice out there. And I got out of the van. The van's rocking a little bit in the wind right now. The wind's howling so badly. I got out of the van and it was like it was like a, a cartoon because the wind was blowing hard and I got out of the van and it's a sheet of ice and I just start ice skating across. I just start sliding across the parking lot in the wind. <laughs> How am I going to get back to the car? So, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to record any videos trying to drive in this stuff. I'm glad I quit recording on the way up when it was still a reasonable drive. And uh, I know better than to try and, and multitask when it's harsh conditions. But boy, this is the, the drive into this little parking lot was harrowing. I was tapping the brakes and sliding and tapping the brakes and sliding. And I think the brakes are anti-lock, but I can't tell. It's, they don't do that like thing where they have a little bit of a sound. So, 
I don't know if that's what's happening. Anyway, let's have uh, one of the snacks we were going to have on the lift. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. Tough Man Refresh. Just what I need. Just what I need for a, a drive down the mountain. Now, I might... This is going to sound like a terrible idea, but I might stop on the way and see if I can do a little bit of a safe backcountry tour. It is hard to find a safe spot to tour in the wind because wind leads to the transport of snow, which increases avalanche danger, but I might. But otherwise, I'm going to start my way down, and whatever I do, I need some Tough Man Refresh energy drink. Heck yeah. Let's try it. Not bad. The initial notes are notes of cranberry, yeah, the nose, the nose is, is of cranberry and uh, what's that stuff in uh, Red Bull, Guarana, something like that, That's, there's that Red Bullish nose to it, and then I have to say it's effervescent, so it has the effervescence on your tongue. It's not super bubbly, but it's a little bit like Pop Rocks going over your tongue, if you know that candy. It's a very sweet, if you catch my drift. And then the aftertaste is a little bit, mm, I don't want to say plasticky, but a little chemically aftertaste, if you will. I can't describe the finish very well for you, but you have to come to, have to, come to uh, Japan and try Tough Man Refresh. All right, wish me luck on my drive. Bye now. All right, now we're on the drive to Shikakogan. There's a little fresh snow on the road, which is promising. The fact that I have a two-wheel drive van with no chains is not promising. We'll see how this goes. I do have snow tires. That's working in my favor. This feels like a typical mountain road, but now I want you all to look above us here. Do you see that bridge? That bridge is a 360 loop-the-loop -loop in lieu of a tight switchback in the road. We're getting past. So this is a bridge they put in here to avoid having the road be crammed into the corner of the valley and have to go through a crazy tight switchback. It's a nice round loop the loop instead at the cost of I don't know how many yen, but still pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to get back to focusing on driving and no narration at all. See you at the ski area. Ugh. Okay, so I'm up here at, uh, what is this place? Shiga Sun Valley, it's called, which is the first area. The road was bad enough and I was getting past enough. With I was poking along in my little van because I want to drive safely and not get in a crash. And people were flying by me on the road and I stopped here because it was the first place that's uh, uh, part of the complex, part of the Shiga 18 complex. And they've got all the lifts, like, not even started. They're all on wind hold because the storm is bad enough that, like, it's blowing hard up top. It's even blowing hard here in the parking lot, honestly. Oh, man, I'm getting skunked. I am not sure what I'm going to do, but 
um, I had such a great plan, I thought, to try and ski all the ski areas, and now a lot of them might not even open. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I, I'll try and find a ski area that's open, I guess, is my next plan. <laughs> okay. There is no skiing going on today at Shiga Kogan. I just saw a whole uh, van full of like ski lift employees all wearing their matching jackets, all <laughs> popping to drive a van and drive away. And the roads are awful. I have never seen roads this icy before. I mean, I guess I spent four years living in Alaska, so I saw some pretty icy roads, but this is like the perfect combination of really icy roads with no sand, no salt, no gravel. <laughs> I think what happens up here is these guys are so used to dry snow that it just blows off and evaporates with you know a little bit of wind and sun and it's all gone because it's so cold so much in so much of the year. So having temperatures around freezing like they have been for the past few weeks here, I think they're not, I think they're not ready for it. I don't think they're, re they're used to it. So anyway, I, I don't know if you can see very well out of here. Let me see. I'll roll the window down for you. It's just a sheet of ice out there. And I got out of the van. The van's rocking a little bit in the wind right now. The wind's howling so badly. I got out of the van and it was like it was like a, a cartoon because the wind was blowing hard and I got out of the van and it's a sheet of ice and I just started ice skating across. I just started sliding across the parking lot in the wind. <laughs> I was like, am I going to get back to the car? So, I don't know. I'm definitely not going to record any videos trying to drive in this stuff. I'm glad I quit recording on the way up when it was still a reasonable drive and uh, I know better than to try and, and multitask when it's harsh conditions. But boy, this is the, the drive into this little parking lot was harrowing. I was tapping the brakes and sliding and tapping the brakes and sliding. And I think the brakes are anti-lock, but I can't tell. It's, they don't do that like thing where they have a little bit of a sound. So I don't know if that's what's happening. Anyway, let's have uh, one of the snacks we were going to have on the lift. Oh, this is perfect. Look at that. Tough man refresh. Just what I need. Just what I need for a, a drive down the mountain. Now I might, this is going to sound like a terrible idea, but I might stop on the way and see if I can do a little bit of a safe backcountry tour. It is hard to find a safe spot to tour in the wind because wind leads to the transport of snow, which increases avalanche danger, but I might. But otherwise I'm going to start my way down and whatever I do, I need some Tough Man Refresh energy drink. Heck yeah, let's try it. Not bad. The initial notes are notes of cranberry, yeah, the nose, the nose is, is of cranberry and uh, what's that stuff in uh, Red Bull, Guarana, something like that, That's, there's that Red Bullish nose to it, and then I have to say it's effervescent, so it has the effervescence on your tongue. It's not super bubbly, but it's a little bit like Pop Rocks going over your tongue, if you know that candy. It's a very sweet, if you catch my drift. And then the aftertaste is a little bit, mm, I don't want to say plasticky, but a little chemically aftertaste, if you will. I can't describe the finish very well for you, but you have to come to, have to, come to uh, Japan and try Tough Man Refresh. All right, wish me luck on my drive. Bye now. Okay, so I'm out of the mountains, and the weather is so much nicer down here. It's still super windy. Like, the car will get buffeted with a wind now and again. But the sun is out, so I'm wearing my sunglasses. May as well. And... It's nice. It's, it's a nice day to be driving around rural Japan. I can't complain. I wish I had skied today, but I I looked at I looked at going into the looked to go on just for a little hike in the woods with my skis on, and it was miserable. I said, "Forget it. I'm not going." So it's almost noon now. I'm down uh, in northern Nagano between Miyoko and Miyoko Kogen, heading towards Jotsu, which is on the west coast of Honshu Island. I'm going to move north from there along the coastline. I don't know if I'm going to go right along the coast, but pretty close to it. Actually, I'd like to go see the ocean and get some views. 
and I'll go to the town of Niigata uh, eventually. And I might go past there. We'll see how far I get. I'm just out exploring, just out checking things out. The mountains over my shoulder are actually super beautiful. Let me see if I can show this to you right now. It might be worth, might be worth trying to get you a view of that out the window here. Let's see if we can, oh yeah, there you go. So it's pretty amazing how nice it is out, out uh, as long as you're not out in the wind. Uh, the mountains look beautiful. I'm sure that the wind is howling up there given how bad it is down there. But I'm gonna hit the road, but before I do that, it's time for another snack. We're not doing the 18 resorts at Chica Kogan, but we're doing the random energy drink sampling. So let's see what I got in here. Uh-oh. We're gonna try Coca-Cola Energy. Hmm, and you know, it's snack time, so let's do a pairing. I'm gonna try Coca-Cola Energy paired with some 7-Eleven butter and soy sauce potato chips. Yikes. And they're not even, they're not really potato chips, they're shoestring potatoes, if you wanna be correct about that. But we're gonna try it. So let's dive in here first. I'm gonna, I'm probably more curious about the potato chips than I am about the uh, the Coca-Cola energy drink. So we'll try it first. Let's see what we think here. Wow, I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> They're buttery. Sort of that popcorn, that movie theater popcorn flavor. And the soy sauce, I can't, it's, it's, less, it's less distinct than the butter flavor, but I suppose the soy sauce is what gives it the salty flavor. And so it's, it's pretty movie theater popcorn like. They're crunchy, they're tasty. They definitely have that movie theater popcorn thing where you keep eating them until you've eaten the whole bag. So I'll stop for now, but yeah, <laughs> I, think, I think I'm a fan, I gotta say, of the of the 7-Eleven premium brand, 7-and-I brand. 7-and-I um, is the holding company that uh, runs the 7-Elevens in, uh, in Japan. And actually, I think owns all 7-Elevens now, if I'm not mistaken, but you can, you can double check that if you want. But I have to say, I, I do approve. I endorse of the, of the bad for you, but delicious snack food quality of the butter and soy sauce uh, <laughs> flavored potato chips. And now we're looking at Coca-Cola Energy, which says the only energy drink with a great Coca-Cola taste. I mean, fair point. No other energy drink has a great Coca-Cola taste. So there you go. High caffeine, guarana extract, and B, uh-oh, the guarana, they're copying Red Bull again, and B vitamins. Oh, good. I needed my B vitamins. Let's try it. Here we go. It's like mixing Red Bull and Coke, honestly. Ugh, not a fan. Yeah, it's not a good combination. All right, um, I'm not even trying to describe it. It's like mixing Red Bull and Coke. That's all I'm gonna say about it. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Okay, well, I'm not too bummed about changing my mind on trying to ski in the brutal, windy, freezing rain, maybe icy, blowing ice conditions that we had today. It's beautiful here on the west coast of Japan. And I'm going to end my day. I didn't get to ski any of the 18 ski areas at Chica Kogan, and that's okay. I'm going to come back maybe another year and ski in when the weather's better. What I'm going to try for my last little sampling here is some Georgia brand 2020 Victory. And Georgia brand coffee. Now, this, this just for those of you who don't know, this is a common thing in Japan, this canned coffee. You can get them all over the place. You can buy them canned and hot. This is a canned cold coffee. I have no idea what it is besides 2020 Victory because that's all I can read. But we're going to give it a try. The canned coffees, in my view, are not very good, but boy, there's there's uh, there's fridges full of them all across Japan, so somebody likes them. Mm, 
super sweet, a little coffee-like. Um, it's got a little little cafe au lait, little uh, milk flavor in there. So it's like uh, old uh, coffee with cream and like two scoops of sugar all mixed up. Yeah, a little too sweet for me for sure. And I usually don't drink my coffee with milk, so not a terribly great match for me, but it's all right. I need a little caffeine probably to keep me motivated along the coast here. I'm going to head at least as far north as Niigata today and maybe move on from there. I'm not sure. We'll see where I get to, but it feels like a good day to explore and I got to get some work done too. All right. Thanks for following along today on my adventures. Bye.